Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Stormy Crest, and this is Crest. So today, I decided to talk about vanity. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah. Okay. So if you think it's vain, well, yep. Yeah, okay. So well, I'm going to talk about makeup. So this is my everyday makeup. Call this one if you can see this. It's called Clay Blush and it's organic. This one is the Sun Kissed. So this one is better. I use it for the blush. But if I do want, because this is lighter and I have the smaller version. Uh, this one is Luna. You can see. I'm not sure if you can actually see it. All right, so there. Uh, it's a clay blush as well and it's autumn so this is better I use it as a lipstick but it's good as well you can use it as well as a blush so well let's talk about the components of this one hey so you see actually makeup wearing makeup will ruin our skin like it has components ingredients that are actually very harmful to our skin so for I don't really advise uh, younger people or teens to actually wear makeup I guess you can wear makeup I started wearing makeup when I was already working because it was required um, for my job during that time um, I my first job is actually as a teacher a professor in a state university it has it it was a state college before now it's a state university and they wanted me to wear something just to color my my face but I didn't really follow it I just used like a lip balm or uh, a lipstick or something like that but I had a few moments that are actually I had a time that I've been wearing like consistently makeup like every day heavy makeup but I decided it's not really that good I mean it's better for people to get surprised when you actually put on makeup because you look good rather than when <laughs> they get surprised and scared once you remove your makeup because you're always wearing makeup like having makeup every day right so right now i'm still with my bare skin well i don't really use any foundation or anything so right any powder this is just it so we're going to use this one if i'm not sure how i oh sorry um i'm not prepared i don't have something to remove this one but i'll use it this for the blush so you see, maybe if you really, if you want some color in your cheeks, try to just use organic products. So. All right, see, I have colors now. And for the lips. It seems like I have I haven't put anything so that's why I'm using the the other one so that's about it I guess if, if it's just for every day I mean I'm, I'm a, an online teacher so you just need to a little flush on your cheeks and your lips so I guess naturally is actually the way to go so well that's it all right there um well kila is like they say but i'm okay without that anyway i'm just hiding it with so why you should go organic uh with when it comes to your makeup because yeah makeup makeups are actually harmful to your skin now if you actually go organic uh like this what i'm using right now um it only has five components so let's talk about the five components so the first one is Candelilla wax so it functions as a thickening and hardening agent um, well um, it's a uh, and it's a skin protective barrier agent that helps prevent the skin from losing moisture so 
like this wax, this has quite a high melting point and it acts as stabilizer and emulsifier in bombs, creams, and others. So it is skin conditioning. It easily absorbs odorless and rich in nutrients. So this provides a wonderful gloss and lubricity to lip balms. So that's why they're using it for this one. And it's organic, it's natural. All right, so number two component, VCO or virgin coconut oil. So as a face moisturizer, you can actually use it on your body as well. So for this one, it particularly, if it's effective as a primer to soften the skin before applying makeup but in this case you don't really need i mean it's already included in this one and it will give you a glowy dewy look after you apply your foundation so that's how like see it's glowy now all right so okay so now we have number three that would be grape seed all right so for grape seed uh grape seed oils beauty benefits may be due to its vitamin e and omega-6 fatty acid content so it will help you your skin it will moisturize your skin it will heal acne and it will lighten your skin not that i don't i want my skin to lighten up I'm good with my color and it will tighten pores it will also reduce the appearance of scars and also it can be used to remove makeup so those are some of the benefits of using grape seeds oil all right so I hope you actually like. all right so the fourth component is iron oxides there are actually 16 iron oxides in total, and they're all compounds of iron and oxygen. When it's used in cosmetics, iron oxides are usually considered ideal because they are non-toxic, non-bleeding, and moisture resistant. So it makes them, or this makes them a great additive to cosmetic products such as eyeshadows, blushes, and lipsticks. Now, uh, iron oxides are naturally occurring minerals known to be safe, gentle, and non-toxic on the surface of the skin. And you often hear about iron oxides in makeup. So, as I've already mentioned, like eyeshadows, blushers, powders, lipstick, and mineral makeup. So, it's really good all right so we're down to the fifth component of this clay blush so we have the fifth one it's she butter so with high concentrations of fatty acids and vitamins it makes she butter an ideal cosmetic ingredients for softening skin so it also has an inflammatory and healing properties so using she butter on your body especially your face can condition tone and suit your skin so there i'll give you uh some benefits for uh of she butter for the skin it moisturizes dry skin it also treats acne and blemishes it reduces skin inflammation anti-aging and anti-free radical agent it provides relief to itchy and peeling skin. Also, it restores the elasticity of your skin. And it reduces razor irritation and bumps. So you can use it as well for your underarm. And it reduces stretch marks. So, right. So imagine if you're going to always use it. So right there, I got you your five components of this clay blush so i think it's better to actually go organic for rather than using harmful makeups like i mean you don't really need a lot of things a lot of expensive things that will only ruin your skin so you see i smoke a lot but then 
see my skin it's good like just by using this one it, I used to have like a lot of pores uh, because of using too much makeup so I guess now it's all right already just by avoiding those harmful makeups and using organic uh, this kind of this one and right there so I guess natural is always the best thing right, so that's it for today's vlog I hope you choose the right one for your skin so try to be try to use organic things and natural things that will help a lot uh, for your skin if you really like taking care of your skin so it's not worth it like looking dulled up every time so just be natural and use natural things go organic so I do support that move all right so there thank you so much for watching my vlog today um please do comment um about your reactions on this one or any suggestions and please subscribe to my blog all right so thank you so much and you do have a great day peace out yo